What is going guys? My name is Wolf Sickness and welcome everybody to another video. So today is the day guys that I'm going to be teaching you how to get the best export settings for your Adobe Promo Pro in 2020 upcoming to 2021. So yes, obviously, first of all, you just got to load up program guys. Welcome to Promo Pro Kieran. Hello there, Promo Pro. Yes, obviously, you got to make a new project. I have quite a few projects, but yes. Make sure there's something in the brackets right there, as for example, as CUDA. Uh, if you do have an AMD card, it will be something else, but yeah. And make sure to leave everything else as default. Unless you want to change your name, I do have like lots of names that I do, just depending what video I'm going to do. But yes, after you have done that, literally just press OK, and it should launch this right here. And I'm in the editing, editing tab right there so right now i'm just gonna get in some quick footage from gta 5 gameplay and obviously you, you, this is like an unedited thing you know but it's just some gameplay just to show you guys what exactly the quality is gonna look like so you can either do two things to get that you can either do control and m on your keyboard and this window should pop up or you can just go down to file export and then media. So yes, yeah, so once this is now up, then obviously you got the little timeline thing there. But yes, as I was saying, make sure format was H.264. Basically, it's one of the most popular formats in like the history of video content creation. And it's supported by YouTube. And obviously that's where most people are uploading their videos. So yes, press H.264, click on that preset. I always leave it to match yours highest bit rate. That's literally the default, or you can do custom if you want, but I'm gonna leave it on higher bit rate. Reason behind this is because we're gonna be changing basically every single setting. So we'll go to custom in a second. But yes, so for the next one, even if you are recording in 1080p, like this video was, uncheck that, do the height, to 1440p guys so that's 2560 by 1440 basically that tells youtube being like oh it's a higher quality video we're gonna stick on the vp9 codec and it does give you a higher bit rate too and obviously the more bit rate you give a website obviously the higher quality it's gonna be 1080p looks absolutely horrible on youtube but 1440p just looks absolutely beautiful that is why i upload all my videos in 1440p if you have any questions about why i do 1440 just ask below in the comments or join my discord server link down below cs so yes, next obviously frame rate 60 if you're doing a 60 frames per second video but if you're doing like a webcam video or something i would recommend like recording all your stuff in 30 fps because most webcams can't even do 60 and 60 fps sometimes gives people no motion blur effect kind of thing makes them not feel well cs so yes, just keep scrolling down guys and there's hardware encoding but it basically it utilizes is your nvidia hardware or amd hardware for quick encode but the thing about this one gives worse quality we aren't after that are we and two it kind of stutters the video so every like 100 or 200 frames in between 100 and 200 it like stutters the frames it did it on my amd and it did it on the video so obviously we want constant frames super super smilky silky not smilky but yeah so i'm just gonna go to software encoding right there and this is the best one obviously because we're after quality and stability not quickness and poo quality you know so yeah just scroll all the way down until you get to bitrate settings so for all my videos, I do do one pass just because when you stick it on YouTube, two pass versus one pass is basically no difference at all. But don't do CBR. Yes, it's going to render a little bit quicker, but it's not worth it in the long run. It renders like 30 seconds quicker, so not even that great. And YouTube does recommend for 1440p for you to do 24 megabytes a second. So just drag... Uh, your target bit rate to 24 and it should do the maximum bit rate too. If you do want a little bit more quality, then you can put that to like 30 or so for your maximum. So basically the um, variable bit rate, that what VBR does mean. And one pass, basically it just goes through the sequence once. If you do two, it goes through a sequence once and then it renders your frames that it's looked at previously. If that makes any sense at all. If it doesn't leave a comment down below and i'll try and do a bigger explanation or i can even do a video comparing vbr one pass versus two pass but yes so as i was saying guys basically 
if there is a scene that I'm really, really still, for example, right there, it will be stuck at 24 megabytes a second. Still really, really good 24. But then if it gets into like a high motion scene or something, it's going to pop up to 30. So basically, depending on the footage that's on the screen, it alters the bit rate. Was really, really clever. And that makes your files a lot smaller too. But yes, once you have done that, guys, to 24 and 30, I normally leave them both on 24, to be fair. But I can never get 24. That was really, really lucky. Normally, it's like that. But yeah, scroll down. Unless your video is VR, then yeah, you don't really need that. Um, I always do use maximum render quality, even if it's like a normal YouTube video, just because obviously it's going to give that slight better edge on anybody else's videos. So yeah, I would honestly recommend doing that 100 million percent, guys. So if you do select your use previews, just like I did right there, when you're editing, obviously you're going through a footage. So basically, it's just making the export time a little bit quicker. What well, obviously is a little bit nicer, not set, not necessary. But yeah, if you do select that, then that's pretty cool. Now you can just press export. It's not necessary to do export i never do that because i like doing adobe media encoder just because it's a tad bit quicker and two you get to see what's actually been rendered i'll show you in a second guys also just name whatever you want i'm just going to name it something really really long because i'm going to delete this video clip after i have made this video so yeah i'm going to do it as fffff save that and obviously that's there make sure that's an mp4 as well so now we're just going to press q and click on there by the way guys at the end of this video i'm going to be showing you what the clip does look like and i'll be using these rendering settings for all my videos in the future as well but yeah as you can see guys this is my adobe mini encoder i have stopped that previously because I wasn't happy with the video basically but as you can see from those settings right there 24 and 25 max what is basically what we're going to be using now make sure that is on cuda or whatever the amd one is in the bracket and literally just press play and your video is now going to be rendering and it won't take too long at all remember i am recording at the same time so obviously this isn't an accurate representation of how long it usually does take so yeah Let's just wait, guys. So, yes, guys, it has just literally just finished, guys. And it's right there. It's only 285 megabytes. And if I just go to the properties really quickly and then go to details, as you can see, the data rate is 24 megabytes a second. And the total bit rate is like 2.6 megabytes a second, 60 frames per second. And that's all you need. So yeah, on the screen right now, guys, is the actual gameplay that we have just rendered straight from that exported videos folder. I really do hope that this video has helped you in one way or another. Honestly, I've been looking for rendering settings for the longest of times. I looked at some videos, but they wasn't really that helpful because they basically just use CBR and Obviously, I've done testing the previous time and they don't look as good, honestly. But yes, guys, I'm now going to end up the video here. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. My name is Wall Signals. You guys are absolutely awesome. If you need any like help or anything, just leave a comment down below. Do not hesitate one bit. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Wall Signals. You guys have been absolutely awesome. Peace out. Much love. Have a good one, guys. Stay safe from the COVID.